Okay, we're here at AgriTrade in Red Deer uh, with Sarah Foster from 2020 Seed Labs. Uh, Sarah, we're talking about peas and uh, seed testing. That's right. Well, this year we're seeing a lot of samples coming into the lab earlier on with uh, what appears to be glyphosate damage. And that's when um, a grower uses a product with a glyphosate-based um, pre-desiccant. And um, typically, we wouldn't normally see a lot of problems, but um, this year, it's been used extensively, I think, in certain regions for dry down. So as you can see here, this is a, a really good sample. There's 50 seeds in this dish and all of those 50 seeds have actually germinated reasonably well and this by comparison isn't that way at all and it's what really goes on underneath the soil surface or in this case the sand surface which we use for germination but for example if I was to pull this one up you can see here the glyphosate has affected the roots and we have a, a reasonable primary root, but no secondary root growth. And certainly, if you were to look at this closely, no root hairs. The seed is, seedling is also very, very brittle. So that's a good indication that we have chemical injury. And then again here, just to show you the big, oh, huge big difference. difference. Yeah, and that's what we're looking for. So you wouldn't know that you had chemical injury unless you actually started to extract the seedlings from the sound medium. And so it's important this year, if you have used a glyphosate-based pre-harvest desiccant, that you get it in for a germination. And a, okay. a good germination, basic germination, can give you that So a basic germination test will obviously bring this to light yeah. that you have a problem. Absolutely. And typically what happens is uh, we will test it on a paper first. It's a CFIA guideline. Okay. And then we go into a sand or a soil. We actually use soil. Um, that's CFIA regulation. But for this, it's easier for us to use a soil, uh, sorry, a sand okay. base. Um, the other thing that I should tell you about this is that um, more often than not, the seedlings do make grade, okay. which is at 80, 85. Um, but if they don't, then we have to go into a, a retest situation and then we do ask our clients to send the samples back in again three or four months from now if they plan on keeping the seed just to make sure okay. that this damage hasn't got worse. So this is occurring more this year because we think there was a lot more people using glyphosates to dry down the peas? And, I think so. Yeah. So we're yeah. seeing with Reglone or Some other products Some Reglone well. is, is doing that too. It's okay. not as common as glyphosate. Both are registered products, um, but it's the, the time that it's being applied. Okay. If the application is when the seeds uh, or the plants um, are very unevenly mature, then you're going to see some issues. Okay. But uh, usually not, but it's just this year. Okay. Well, thanks a lot, Sarah. If somebody wants more information on 2020 Seed Labs or has questions about their peas, uh, where should they go or who should they call? Uh, well, they can call any one of us at the lab. They can call me, Sarah, uh, Barry Little or Kevin. Um, we have a toll-free number, which is one 420 or they can access this information on our website too, which is www.2020clabs.ca. Okay, perfect, Sarah. Thanks a lot. You're very welcome. Thank you.